Is the server choice deliberate because turtle joke? Oh my fucking God, you're right. I didn't even think of that. You're so right though. <laughs> Today, we're making a brand new Final Fantasy 14 character. The goal, make it all the way to the end of the Endwalker expansion from Limsa to the dead ends and complete every single bit of instance content up to and including the most difficult content in the game all while only RP walking. But before we get started, let me just mention that I'm not the first person to come up with this idea. And while I was researching the topic, I found another creator named Alice that's currently doing the same sort of series. And it looks like it might still be ongoing. So if you'd like to watch more of this content while you wait for future episodes of mine to come out, I'll be leaving a link to Alice's series in the description below. So please go show them some love as well. And on that note, let's meet our main protagonist. His name, it's Walker White. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't I so funny? We will be playing warrior. We will be playing warrior for this. All right, let's fucking go chat. Let's go. With our character in order, we take our first steps into Eorzea. Walker accepts his very first quest and we very, very slowly make our way up to the drowning wench, leading us to our very first cutscene, which I obviously skipped guys. I mean, I think it's very clear that we're in a bit of a rush here. Don't mind me, just walking here. Green Garfield? Damn, okay. They're green. Okay, oh wait, you know what we should do first actually? We should make our adventurer plate. While I'm working on that adventurer plate, now's probably a good time for me to explain the rules of this challenge. Obviously, I must be RP walking at all times. This not only includes the overworld, but inside dungeons, raids, trials, and alliance raids too. To spice things up a bit, another rule that I'll be implementing will be whenever I get to any sort of content that requires a party, I'll be requesting the help of viewers from my Twitch chat to join in and follow the same rules as me. That being RP walking only. That being said, if this is something that interests you and you'd like to join in on this, feel free to come on over to my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Livy for a chance to join in. Keep in mind that eventually we're gonna need a bunch of people for Crystal Tower. So I'd love to have you guys' help. Of course, I will not be allowing myself to use mounts or any sort of NPC transportation, unless we are required to make use of one to progress the main scenario, or else this whole challenge would be pointless after I reach level 20. I will, however, be allowing myself to use Aetherite teleports because, well, yes, technically I could walk from Limsa Laminsa to Camp Bronze Lake. Uh, it's just that by the time this video comes out, the next expansion will probably be here. And I'm not talking about Dawn Trail. Last but not least, if I die, there will be a punishment that I'll have to fulfill. Something that will cause me great pain and misery. Something I hope that we'll never have to have happen on this channel. Which I'll only be revealing if we get to that point, so stay tuned to see if it even happens. After taking about 30 minutes to create our adventure plate, I am the one who walks. <laughs> we needed to get back on track. I took my chat on a scenic tour of Limsa Laminsa while we unlocked every mini Aetherite in the area. In front of us here is the Culinarians Guild. We have some chefs out front here, chilling by the mini Aetherite, which we're gonna pick up here and turn back, grabbing that bad boy. If you look on your right, see beautiful Limsa Laminsa, it's looking great. There's the Aetherite Plaza, it looks a little bit empty, but I assure you there's some people down there. Unlocking every Aetherite in an area will grant a couple of extra teleport options that are definitely gonna come in handy for us sooner or later. All right, we got them all. We're at the Marauders Guild though, so let's get this quest. Am I prepared for Carnage? Oh yeah. I'm ready for the most intense fucking gameplay of my life. Yeah, murder. Can't believe you didn't min-max and pick Archer. You know, I thought about it. I thought long and hard about exactly what the best way to do this was. And if I'm being honest, I felt like to me, a way to make this interesting would be to play a melee job instead of a fizz range job. Because I have to think a little bit more. I'm doing this because I want to see what you can and can't do. If you have to only RP walk, it kind of makes it a little bit interesting because you have to really plan your movement. Your only movement aside from like gap closer or, or movement abilities is sprint to make you go only this fast. And if you're in combat, you only get 10 seconds of sprint instead of 20. So you're 
seriously going to have to like plan your sprints for specific mechanics and really find out what you can and can't greed while you're RP walking and stuff. It puts an extra element to it. You know what I mean? After a very long walk, we finished our job quest and took a stroll up to Summerford Farms, unlocking our first Aetherite, or well, technically our second Aetherite, and more importantly, unlocking the teleport skill, which in turn reminded me about the existence of the return skill, which allows us to teleport back to Limsa or wherever we have our home teleport free of charge every 15 minutes which is perfect because that's about how long it takes for me to walk to and from my quest destinations anyways. Let's go to Summerford Farms. How much gill does it cost? <laughs> that's so much money. I guess we're walking. Do those guys aggro? I think that means they're, they're, they're docile, right? I just don't want to die in the overworld. Once again, there is a punishment, so we, we better not die. Oh, there's a, there's a thing over there we can kill for a hunting log. We kill a couple of these little guys. There we go. We're making good progress. We're making good progress. We're level... Hi, no, no, come this way. Come this way. I can't hit you. There we go. After taking 10 minutes to do something that would take the typical player at most a minute, we made it back to Summerford Farms to turn in our quest when it finally dawned on me what our first major hurdle was going to be on this character. Chat, we are broke as hell. Gil is going to be a resource that we're going to need to be careful with spending in the early game. Not that there's really a whole lot that we're going to need to be spending our money on, but the simple decision between teleporting versus walking is going to make this challenge take significantly longer until we complete more quests, start earning more gil. And the next quest was going to prove just how grueling the early game was going to be right from the get-go. I need to get some gear. Purchase battle gear. Oh, it's so much money! That was, that was no money. This game sucks. You know what is a great deal though? Getting your hands on a certain green capybara of VTubers new desk mat. That's right, chat. Your boy actually has real merchandise that you can get now as part of my collaboration with Ubu Market. Aside from that, we got jet tags, some keychains, stickers of my favorite emotes, and even a poster if you want a half-naked green capybara on your wall for no reason in particular. If you do want to get something to help support the channel, you can head over to the link on screen right now or in the description below and in the pinned comment. If you do end up getting something, Please, I'm begging you, be sure to send me a picture on Twitter when you get it and let me know what you guys think. If this collaboration ends up doing well, we'll surely be doing more in the future. So let me know what you guys want. And as always, thank you guys so much for the support. And of course, thank you Uwu Market for this awesome opportunity. We continue on our slow journey, walking and completing quests as we go. We actually end up having a few close calls along the way too. I don't have provoke yet. Oh shit! No, 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 don't worry, I got this. I'm him. Everything's okay, everything's okay. Don't even worry about it. We're good, we're good. Nothing to worry about. Oop, got a little distracted, but we're fine. That could have been real bad. <laughs> I actually do wonder how long it's gonna take for us to get through all of this. Like the game is already pretty fucking long. And now that it, we're adding this, like I can't mount up, I can't do anything, you know? It's gonna, it's gonna take fucking forever, but that's fine. Oh my god, he's so fucking far away! And then my ass is gonna have to walk all the way back, too. Oh my god. Holy shit, Severin. Why the fuck are you all the way over there? This is actually gonna be fucking brutal. Brother, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Does he have an adventure plate? Got black, got white. What you want? What is this a reference to? What is this a reference to? It's a brand of whiskey. All right, John, Johnny Walker. I'll see you around, buddy. But eventually we make it through and pick up some new drip to rock as well. As expected, when you're doing something as silly as RP walking the entire MSQ, people tend to notice. So on our way, we managed to pick up a couple people intrigued by what we were doing and they followed us around for a little bit. <laughs> what are these people doing? <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> we killed two of those, so I'm just gonna kill this guy too. No, come back! No, we gotta help! Don't worry! Walker White is here to save the day! Don't even sweat it! I got you! All in a day's work. What's up, John? Fair walking? Feet hurt, but that's... 
part of the job. Slash laugh. <laughs> that fucking, that fucking laugh. That is terrifying. All right. Take it easy, John. Onward I go. After spending hours walking through the seaside of Lenosha, breathing in the ocean mist and feeling the sand between my toes, I was ready for a change of scenery. We managed to make it through the introduction of Realm Reborn and we finally would be leaving to travel to our next destination, the Black Shroud. I was excited to take in something new. The Black Shroud is known for its luscious forests in the heart of nature. I was excited to see the sights again, you know, get to meet the locals. Excuse me, pardon me. What the fuck? I'm sorry, what? Snowball cut. Well, the sights are nice at least. I ran around collecting every Aetherite once again to save time. We completed our quest, and it was not long before I was already off to my next destination, Ulda. Making contact with each region's leaders to help out in whatever ways I could. After four and a half hours, it's probably pirates was the next quest, and it's probably going to take us another hour to actually make it to Satasha, but we were finally there our first actual dungeon. With Satasha now unlocked, I begged three of my viewers on Twitch to join me and we were headed in. Now, Satasha isn't exactly the most advanced dungeon in terms of mechanics to deal with or heavy hitting packs of mobs. Honestly, not even the handicap of RP walking is enough to make this dungeon necessarily difficult. However, I will advise anyone doing this, do not bully your healer or at least just make sure you're bringing a lot of potions. Fuck yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and wall to wall. Kiari, 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 Kiari. Can we get a new healer? In like 38 more levels, I won't even need the healer. But right now I do, but right now I do, but right now I do, but right now I do. Kiari, Kiari, Kiari. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Thankfully, I had a I had a potion, which helped me he stay alive. Anyway, after a nice long, long, long stroll through Satasha, we reached the final boss and made quick work of it. After five hours, we had finally made it to our goal for the day. Our first dungeon was complete, and we were ready to call it there. Until I realized that there was actually two more dungeons back to back, in which I just decided we might as well finish those out too. You guys ready for Tamtara Deepcroft? Let's fucking get it. You're in a new fit? Okay, okay. Dude, sweet fit, bro. That's crazy. I think Kiari has some kind of power complex, dude. She's over here like, remember your life is in my hands. She's getting a little too into it. Oh no, I got hit by a, uh, no, Kiari. Kiari, please, please help me. <laughs> I only have Rampart. <laughs> Damn, I don't have fucking, what's it called? Tomahawk. Oh no, I have Reprisal now. Yo, we're so freaking back chat. We're so freaking back. Get the freaking, yeah, get him, get him. Oh no! Or so fun. Huge. Well done. Well done, my friends. Well done. All right, Copper Bell Mines, guys. Our third one done. Let's go. Hope the tank doesn't die. Yeah, me too. Damn it. <laughs> so it'll be fun. It'll be fun eventually. But until then, we we simply walk through and spam overpower. All right, come on, come on, guys, stop flirting. Let's go. We got a boss to kill. Come on. We could probably just kill him before that, but we all decided to leave. Okay, okay. Hurry, guys. Come on. Yeah, kill this guy. Fucking kill him. Yeah, all right. There we go. We did it. 
The first three dungeons of the game, all RP walked. Good job, everybody. Congratulations, me. With the first three introductory dungeons out of the way, it was time to call it there. Next time, we would face our next major threat, the Bowel of Embers. It's the Bowl of Embers, you idiot. I mean the Bowl of Embers. <laughs>